Hello, every folks, and welcome. Uh, welcome to a quick preview slash first impressions kind of thing for Octopath Traveler 2. Uh, so this is a, uh, a sequel to a game that, well, I always kind of had on the list to try out at some point, but then it never really bothered to go on sale. So I never try, uh, played the original Octo, but I'd heard a lot of really good things about it. Um, that being said, the reputation of that first game was what uh, got me to, uh, to eventually uh, uh, buy a, a Triangle Strategy. Um, because folks were telling me like, hey, it, it's basically your favorite game, but you know, made by this uh, by this company that's really well regarded. So at any rate, um, yeah, when I, when I heard about Octo Two, it got me a little bit curious. Like, you know, I I heard all those all, all these uh, really good things about Octo One, and then was a little bit confused when Triangle came out because it seemed like there was a lot of potential, a lot of really you know solid ideas that in many cases didn't you know fully kind of uh, hit the mark, as it were. But, um, again, I kept hearing a lot of those same good things about Octo 1, so when, uh, when Octo 2 came around, um, you know, I was, uh, was curious to see how it went, and sure enough, after, after getting a few hours with this thing, after uh, trying it out, after uh, seeing all this different stuff here, I see why folks were so dang excited about <laughs> the original. Right where you are, um, because doggy. this feels like it was... This clearly we feels like a you. lot more of a passion project uh, this time around. Um, I don't know why we, have, why we have to have the obligatory kids attempting to mug a dog scene, but... Uh, oh well. Do you want? Got to Any dog ways. Um, again, I've been appreciating the why level of attention to detail business. going on in this Thanks game. Because, first and foremost, let's talk about the, uh, uh, the visuals here. And... Obviously, if the question is, do you want to say puppy? Obviously, the answer is always yes. Um, but Out of my way. from world building to all this other stuff, also, wow, these dudes were way fancier in uh, in their battle animations than they were <laughs> just a second ago. Um, but in terms of overall like attention to detail and world building and stuff like that, I'm seeing way more passion in uh, in this one this time around, which I just really appreciate. Now, in terms of overall mechanics and whatever else, this feels basically like classic Final Fantasy and kind of all of its mechanics going all the way up through 10 in terms of uh, its pretty clear inspirations. Um, so, for example, you uh, you kind of have the, uh, the classic uh, uh, switching your uh, classes out, going for secondary classes, all of them functioning a little bit differently. Um, and I gotta appreciate the uh, the way that these were actually laid out because the introduction, I can't speak for all of the characters, but the introduction uh, to this Oswald guy here is has so far been really solid in terms of not only like world immersion and whatever else, but in terms of setting up the mechanics. So let's start going down those real quick. Like first and foremost, this guy right here, basically a wizard guy. Um, as you may have noticed, he picked up on one vulnerability for each of these units upon coming into the uh, the map. So he's basically like, he's Wizard Batman is, is, is kind of his deal. He's a, uh, a magic professor sort of deal um, who gets uh, framed for, uh, for a double homicide and then goes away to icy Alcatraz, basically, um, and then has a prison escape. So, like, that's his whole deal here. He's, he's off in the standard revenge mission, but so far every bit of it has gone quite a bit differently than I would have expected so far, just because it seems to be aware of its own tropes. Like, it seems to follow the classic tropes, but it does attempt to address them. Um, we'll get to more on that in just a moment, but uh, in terms of overall mechanics and things like that, again, his thing is he studies people, he finds vulnerabilities. He can study them farther if you want, he can ex uh, exploit those vulnerabilities, but the first secondary class that he runs into is a class that overcomes the weakness of his first one there. Uh, namely that, um, ooh, cause a single act to act first for five turns from the next turn. Okay, whatever. You go, go ahead and set that up here. But like being a wizard kind of guy, his main strength uh, comes from uh, being able to use his uh, SP bar, which is basically MP or mana or what have you. Um, but he ends up burning through that pretty darn quickly. Um, so this, uh, this tends to lead to a situation where he like, he tends to not have a whole lot of survivability uh, uh, past those first few rounds. But at the same time, then you run into the inventor, who basically runs off cooldowns instead, and it ends up uh, going and kind of overcoming the weaknesses pretty darn well. 
you may, may have noticed right there uh, that that one guy is currently disabled for the time being because everyone has a, again, this might be the same as the first game as I understand it, um, but basically everyone's got a system where if you exploit their weaknesses, uh, if you hit them a certain amount of times depending on their defense rating over there, you will then exploit that weakness and cause them to enter a stun state, uh, which then allows you to kind of uh, temporarily put them out of the fight. So. Either way, as far as all this uh, mechanical type of stuff here, it feels uh, feels pretty darn solid. Um, in Front terms of, uh, again, the, the combat mechanics feel like they were having a lot of fun with it. It feels, uh, obviously I can't speak for the whole game, um, but uh, so far it's felt pretty darn, uh, uh, pretty darn fun. I will actually point out real quick uh, that uh, when it comes to... Let me show you okay, what I've been First off, activate knowledge. that, then activate the boost, then do this thing, and then do this thing. Okay. Um... Uh, but when it comes to uh, kind of how far I am into the into the game at this point, um, I really was expecting to be a little bit farther. But so far, unfortunately, during the entire preview period so far, there's been a snow day every single day. So uh, overall, there's been a lot less time than I would have expected because all the kids are home. <laughs> Either way, um, all right. So, as you can see, the, the combat mechanics are fun, they're snappy, it feels good to, you know, kind of uh, take advantage of stuff, There's put stuff no in the stun states, angry. all of that kind of thing. Damn it. Uh, man, those two do not sound at all like what they just looked like a second ago, because they look like, uh, like some mafia goons, but... Oh well. <laughs> so, in terms of... Oh, hey, it's uh, that other main character lady. Hold on, quick little break to find out what's going on here. Uh, presumably, stuff would have gone a little bit different if you didn't help you must a dog. Be hungry. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot in the way of like uh, kind of branching, you know, dialogue choices or anything like this that. Little one is um, Thank you. For so, uh, her. so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know I'm how wide it, all of that goes. And I'm on the hunt for two particular individuals. Are you a traveler? I mean, would you happen to need a hand on your journey? Did they join at this point, or sure? All right. Okay, well then we got a party member. That's pretty handy. Um, here at the beginning of the tale, will be temporarily dis the party will be temporarily dissolved and chapter one of her thing will begin. You can still view the story later. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna keep on going with this guy. Well then. Actually, truth be told, I feel like given the rest of the stuff going on, I've never liked that whole thing of going back to jump in and uh, see people's previous stories, so I kind of like the idea of just uh, just following along through this guy's story for all of it. Um but okay, in terms of world building details and whatever else, again, there's, it, it's felt solid in terms of making you kind of play along with the world's rules and stuff like that. Uh, the reason that I was mentioning that in uh, Inventor Guy, um, or that Inventor class earlier, was because of this right here. So this guy's whole kind of starting area, uh, getting over to this uh, area, involves him escaping this icy Alcatraz place. Every part of the way so far, uh, when I've seen a point uh, where there was a question of like, you know, that seemed like it was a little bit too easy, did we just run into a JRPG trope? It Basically, it was this case of it seemed to be decently well aware of what it was playing with, um, which I really appreciated. Um, because uh, so far it's, uh, like as you may notice right there, we lost a party member along the way. Like, as soon as you see a guy where it's like, hey, you're absolutely not going to be able to change their equipment, you know exactly what's happening to that guy. But at the same time, they did address it. Like, for example, when, you know, said guy introduces themselves, they're like, hey, you know, I'm the informant guy. That's literally my nickname. And so your first question is like, this is the first guy you ran into. His name is the informant. Surely it's not going to be that easy, right? Like, surely somebody would be keeping tabs on this guy. And sure enough, that ends up being exactly the case. Like, obviously minor spoilers for the very beginning of the story, but... I mean, you kind of see it coming from a mile away, but it's nice to see it addressed, you know? Um, that every part of his plan seems like it's a little bit too easy, because it is. <laughs> um, either way, it just feels nice. It feels like there's a good bit of attention to detail there in terms of every time I've had that kind of question, it has been addressed so far. Um, like, uh, for example, another thing that I'm going to show right here is uh, that uh, you see a lot of kind of in-field use of their abilities. Now, I don't know what assassin lady or thief lady, whatever, I don't know what her whole shtick is so far. I haven't played as her yet. But, for example, if this guy, uh, again, being a... This guy's a mix of, like, thief and wizard, basically. 
But early on, they're like, okay, we need to get across some water. We can't access a boat. Takes some random stuff, throws it in the water, makes an ice boat. Um, now, in this particular case, it seems to have switched back over to a regular boat. But in places where there is no boat, he's been using a ice cube boat. <laughs> So it's like it's one of those nice little things where they just kind of introduce it in a cutscene and then it's just a thing that happens from there on out. Um, presumably at this point, we just stick with these kinds of boats, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we just acquired a pants boat. Um, unclear. But like their whole plan of, hey, you know, let's go cross the water in this ice boat. You know, it's like a several day trip. What could possibly go wrong? And sure enough, like, they don't just show up just fine on the shore. They're, they basically just about die. Um, and, it, no. you know, again, just feels uh, feels like they were paying attention to the little details there. It's nice. I love to see that. Let's go ahead and carry on here. So, in terms of battle mechanics, I mentioned earlier that you got this whole braking system. You got this uh, boosting system where you uh, collect Strike points to yeah. accumulate them on the of flight. You break down the units. Ready? You then... Let's see, what is your deal? He steal? Alright. Steal something, I guess. Um, but yeah. Thanks. Um okay. Three items. Why not? My turn. Okay. Uh all tidied up. Okay, sorta of lost my train of thought there for a second. Okay, next little detail. Yes, I know I completely lost the previous train of thought. I'm sorry about that. Rambling on. Um, little bonuses uh, at the end of every uh, every fight you run into feel pretty nice. Uh, like you get little money bonuses for beating the thing without getting uh, getting touched at all. You get extra experience for, uh, uh, for things like breaking down enemy units and for uh, overkill. Uh, presumably, depending on how much you actually do, because I've seen that go up a decent bit. Uh, you get extra job points for winning within the first round and stuff like that. It's nice. But uh, any darn ways. Um... So, so yeah, in, in terms of attention detail, very solid. In terms of the visuals, it's been pretty spot on so far. Like, this is a visual style that I'm always kind of, no pun intended, hot and cold about. Because I love it when it's done right, but then as soon as it kind of goes off the rails a little bit, it starts to bug me a lot. Just to kind of throw this comparison out there, um, like comparing uh, Triangle's approach to, uh, to Octo 2's approach, um, in Triangle, it seemed like there was a lot of it attention paid to trying to make it all work in a 3D environment. In this particular case, it's definitely sticking more to the H to the uh, kind of 2D uh, part of it, which it just looks a lot better, uh, in my opinion. Obviously, again, opinions may vary, but I don't think adding a third dimension to this kind of visual helps whatsoever. Um, I think it looks a lot better here. The uh, lighting is more consistent. There's more stuff going on. Um, there's just kind of less overall excessive glowiness. Um, kind of cracks me up that uh, you can just basically run up and mug people as this guy. <laughs> um, actually, it's it, it's additionally funny that... Uh, oh, I guess she ambushes and assassinates people. Okay. Let's see, we can get lightning earrings. We can get a thing. All right. Which, by the way, um, if you if you show up during the day, <laughs> if you show up during the day, uh, like he'll off. attempt to just sort of do the Batman thing with people, um, uh, running up and uh, just kind of sizing people up. And if if they do the interrogation wrong, it just pisses off everyone in town and everyone views you as a dick. But if it ends up uh, working out well, you get a lot of uh, information off them, which can then be used for other things. I haven't seen a whole lot of reason to really risk people in town getting mad, even though I don't quite know exactly what that means. Um, but, you know, it's just fun as a mechanic. It just feels like they're having fun throwing in mechanics. And, again, I just love to see that kind of stuff, you know? Soulstone platter. Huh. No. Kind of made it, made it sound like it was going to go and barrage them with bombs or something. Um, anyway. Yeah, this guy's just seemingly an item user. Feels nice. Uh... It's interesting how, for random NPCs, they kind of use the same stuff as you do, and they seem to use the same classes as you do, I think. Like, so far, every merchant that I've tried this whole uh, mugging mechanic on has seemingly been a... Uh, I want to call him an artificer, but uh, an inventor. Um, uh, so far, uh, for every of the bosses, they're, like, they just show up... Oh, nice. <laughs> that thing just broke on you, so that's uh, good to know that it's... Uh, a little bit janky. Kind of uh, appreciate that detail there. 
Um, but like when you fight some of the bosses and stuff like that, they show up half a screen wide and whatnot. Uh, it's uh, it's cool, you know. I just appreciate those little details. <laughs> Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, there there is a way to speed up fights. Uh, like if you uh, if you go and you click through your buttons, you do have a way to, uh, to speed up your fights. Um, in terms of the, let's probably like really power up and analyze. What does that Let do? Let me look at you. Does he actually spend the points? He did spend the points. Okay, I don't think that actually helps at all to, <laughs> to boost up your analysis ability there. Um, we'll just go ahead and eat a plum, I guess. This one's for me. But yeah, mechanically, it's just been nice to see this constant shifting of, uh, of different mechanics going on. If all of the characters work as differently as they seem to, I feel like this is going to be an this absolute treat to play through. Again, this is just like early first impressions and stuff. I'm looking forward to doing a full review once I've completed all of it. Um, time. But as of so far, yeah, first impressions, it's making a really solid first impression, I want to say. Um, Strike them down. I've just been having a really good time with it. Um, Wish there was more time, like I said earlier, but uh, man, it's been it's been a real treat. Um, overall, uh, you may hear with the voice no. acting, it it's adequate. Um, it definitely has not been again just comparing with uh, with Triangle that Let had show you what issues uh, with uh, with some of the voices, uh, namely a lot of them just. It, I, I know I'm not the only one that immediately uh, turned them off. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so no. far I haven't really felt the temptation to do so for the most part for this one. Aside from the very beginning when he basically had one viable ability for the very start of the game, in which it got a little dicey that he kept having the same exact call out every set, like every time that he used the same ability. I, again, he might be picking up on that right now. I've seen worse. It would have been nice to see that maybe having a little bit more randomization to it. Either way. Um, so we've successfully mugged the guy whose partner we helped earlier. And, oh, I thought you just got a chance to roll for one of these things, not a you got all of them. Endeavor. You just mug him again? Well, that just... I mean, I guess we already got all of this stuff, so... Huh. Well, let's go look at what those items do, I suppose. Let's see. So, apparently they show up dual wielding. Why not? So it's this do evasion plus 10. I mean, we already got a better version of that, but fine. I guess I uh, can't, uh, can't say no to that. Ah, so, that'll be that for first impressions. I mean, as far as skills go, I briefly touched upon this earlier, I think, or that might have been a previous attempt at this. I don't know. Um, but uh, when it comes to skills, basically you get a certain amount of uh, job points for completing certain things. You eventually spend them on one of these. You equip, you uh, unlock enough of those. You get another uh, job skill out of it, and presumably those all carry over in different ways. Um, so, like for example, right here, he got the ability to uh, um, to gain access to uh, to evasive maneuvers here, which means that uh, your random encounters are less likely. Um, whereas in her case, you know, I don't know what her first one is because we just got a hold of her a few minutes ago. Uh, let's see, reduces physical defense. Is she? Okay, she does not appear to be as utterly broken as the uh, as the assassin from Triangle was. <laughs> let's see, raise speed, re uh, reduce defense, uh, sword attack. Sooner, let's see. Sooner your action comes, the more potent. All right, interesting. Either way, different mechanics seem to be going on there. Um, in terms of, uh, oh, actually, that's what I forgot to cover earlier. One of those little things that I appreciated was the fact uh, that uh, that they make you appreciate certain things early on, like when we were in this area. This was the whole reason I went in this direction. Um, the fact that uh, when you're stuck out in this kind of frozen zone out here, um, it kind of gives you an appreciation that, yeah, you're going to be running low on mana, his main attack power comes from mana, and you're constantly more or less relying on level ups to actually heal your uh, your person up. Uh, if you um, if you wind up in a situation where you're just completely burned on, on health and mana, you're just going to find yourself running away from fights, desperately looking for a shop in order to go buy more health and mana and stuff like that. And it definitely feels like it's giving you that, you know, on-the-run hobo, uh, uh, murder hobo feeling, um, which feels very appropriate given that's exactly what's going on with this guy. Um, but then pretty much immediately, immediately you get out of it, and you start like you start seeing like, oh, here's this other class here, and suddenly this class doesn't need mana anymore. It just feels like a good little compliment to that right before you get into, into town, you get a new character, 
like it just feels like there there's that nice uh, kind of attention to detail of making the mechanics flow naturally like there wasn't really too much of an introduction to this whole mugging mechanic they just said hey you know you run up to people you size them up um and then you'll be able to uh, get information off them but then you try it at night and it's like oh you can just mug them instead so either way it feels uh it feels solid you know feels good uh, like for example can we do that to this guy yes we can he just like runs up he, he uh goes and looks at him it gives you a percentage chance to make it happen and yeah so maybe other people would be able to do it some other way but in his particular case uh, he can uh, he can go ahead and scrutinize them to get something out of them. Uh, she has a chance to steal some items, um, but again, you know, low percentage odds. Whereas he can just attempt to take them directly in a fight. If this is how all the units are going to work, then fantastic. I, I, again, I just really appreciate that. Uh, so overall, first impressions <laughs> definitely play. very positive. My turn. Um, definitely been a lot of fun so far. Um, I would say. I mean, I will say, I want to give a quick note on the music, too, because the music has also felt uh, felt pretty darn cozy. Um, I kind of always appreciated a you know, good little uh, guitar back line to, uh, to a lot of these kinds of pieces. A good bit of, uh, good bit of uh, mix of uh, brass and, uh, and strings, so I was going to appreciate that. Um, I, I like the difficulty uh, behind a lot of these uh, just randos that you find out in the field. They definitely had... Uh, no qualms about making that happen. Like these, uh, these dang birds have been a complete pain in the neck on a multiple occasions. Like if you end up in a situation where play. you're 2v1 with these birds, you're just living the debuff life. Debuffs apparently can stack, so that's, uh, you know, that's a thing. It's, uh, it, it definitely feels cool to have Cute. these moments where, you know, you just kind of sit and, uh, kind of take hits for a little, a uh, little My bit turn. and then come back with a charged up, uh, charge up attack there, uh, or for example if you're and trying so to get away in some cases you can just stun and run, so that always feels good too um, Dark Dillion, what, what is that? Is that like an evil dandelion or something? I don't know Let's go take a look Dark Dillion, an ingredient for hazardous concoctions deals dark face damage, okay Neat, but either way, yes there, there's a lot of a lot of mechanics and mechanics and mechanics, and I love seeing lots of mechanics. So, uh, naturally, very, uh, very positive on this one so far. Um, in terms of locations, it's cool to see that uh, they actually give you a notice when you're about to go into an area that you're completely outclassed. Like, instead of just doing away with the sudden uh, kind of difficulty spikes of classic RPGs, instead they're like, okay, here's a new zone, just so you know, here is its degree of whooping your ass. Uh, just uh, bear that in mind. <laughs> you know, it just gives you a warning, but it does it anyway. So, I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, does she actually have enough? No, she, it gives you a little notice uh, whenever you have more skills that are needed there. Um, if the visuals look a little washed uh, out at the moment, bear in mind that partially might just be my presets here. Um, for whatever reason, it starts acting a little bit funny when I turn OBS on. Couldn't really tell you why, but, you know, these things happen. Um, but either way, it still manages to look uh, pretty regardless, I would say. Um, Again, good music, good visuals. So far, the story has been exactly what you would expect out of a JRPG, but the mechanics have been pr uh, pretty darn fun to play around with. Out of my um, way. Like, you know, I'm still looking Thinking forward to trying a whole lot more. It hasn't felt like it's been dragging or whatever. <gasps> Which is usually a good sign that it's doing a good job of getting you into it, you know? The fact that you want to just keep on going and doing more stuff. 